Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be bringing you guys a preview of a game called Brigadine The Legend of Runercia. Brigadine was developed by Matrix Software, it was published by HappyNet. If you got the physical edition, that was published by Limited Run Games. Anyways, it was released on Nintendo Switch on June 25th, 2020. And this is apparently the sequel to the original release on the PlayStation 1 in 1998. And let me tell you, I actually had that game. I had a sealed copy, uh, but I sold it. I never played it. Anyways, when I'm getting into it, uh, I'm pretty excited because this is kind of like my first official like big Switch game that I got to cover. The first one was Hello, uh, not Hello Guest, Super Hollow Bunnies. Super difficult, but fun platformer, and this is a different game, so let's get into it. I'm a save file, uh, you know what? Why don't I start a new game? ラガ マナを浴びるほどにその能力を開花させていったのじゃ。波外れた知力、剣を持つ手には人力を超えた大いなる力。様々に繰り出されるいつしか彼らはルーンの騎士と呼ばれるようになったのじゃ。やがてルーンの騎士たちはマナの力に追い立てられるように高みを目指した。剣と知力、魔法によって己の陣を広げ、必要とあらば敵対するルーンの騎士
ルーナジアの各地を市中に治めてゆくたびに師匠ルーナジア戦記の失われたページはよみがえってくることだろうしかるに統一を果たした時そなたは知るのだこのルーナジアで起きたすべてのそしてあらゆる物語を。Yeah, it's, it's very anime. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Five nations and one tribe plunged the land of Renertia into a new era of chaos. Six rulers and their r u n e knights throw themselves into the flames of war, each with their own hopes and expectations. Alright, l so basically,、uh, I'm gonna sum up the game. It's basically kind of like Fire Emblem and Risk combined together. So you have turn based battles, and you have a huge map, and your main goal is to take over all of the land. And I'm gonna go into that a little bit, but there's a huge like tutorial that we have to get through. So a lot of nations here can kind of look. <laughs> there's a lot of voice acting, which I quite enjoy. You got the n o r z a l e o Kingdom. Ruler Rubino, he is the keeper of the Brigadine of Justice and heir to the throne of n o r z a l e o Rubino's empathy for others and kind heart makes him loved by the people. He also possesses the strength of character to always do what is right. With the flames of war threatening to destroy his nation, Rubino IV steps onto the battlefield to fight in the name of justice.、Uh, I'm gonna just go show you guys the other characters here. We got a、uh, sword lady. Eliza Uzala. She's the daughter of Alden Uzala, the bedridden 15th president of the Republic of g u i m o l The sword of Ange awakens upon realizing the danger the country faces and tasks her with a life changing mission. Previously a ballerina performing with the secret identity. She must now accept her fate to don the Brigadine of Glory and perform on the stage of battle. Okay, so if you look here, you can see how many bases you have your mana reserve, your total knights, and your total monsters. That's your team comp for defending each city. We're gonna get into that when we get into the game, but basically, you know, it's roughly equal, but some characters have advantages. Like more mana, etc. Alright. The Shinobi tribe. Alright, so this person is a little bit smaller in territory. You got five bases. The mana reserve is smaller. Less, a little less knights. A little less monsters. It's really up to your playstyle. The Shinobi tribe is ruled by a woman who resides in a fortified village deep in the mountains and the valleys of the former Hazam nation. Their heirloom, the Brigadine of Freedom, represents the freedom these women have longed for. Talia, daughter of Chief Mother Della, fights for the future of the tribe, a future that won't be threatened by the wars of other nations. Alright. We got this guy. I played him on、uh, my first playthrough, I'm, so I'm not gonna pick him. But... Alright, so Tim Gustav, his name is Tim.、Uh, basically, he's the guy without a Brigadine, and he's like, family is strength.、Uh, you, you can pick him if you want. Yeah, this dude. Rudo Marco. He's the legitimate son of Romanov, the holy, 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 jeez, the holy sovereign of the Mana Silesia theocracy. Long ago, the Mana Stone 30 years war between the Republic of g u i m o l s Mohana sect and the theocracy's I sect created a deep rift in the Rune faith. Rudo now dons the Brigadine of Sanctity in order to bring all of Renergia under the rule of the Zai sect. I noticed there were a bit of typos in the text as well. So 
doesn't really bother me, but you can pick Pirate Lady. She is the descendant of the legendary pirate Captain Hammett. The war has stirred up the wild pirate blood of the people of Mirelva, and Stella decides to set off to conquer Runergia with the Brigadine of Ego. Decisive and spontaneous, she decides it would be best to strike down anyone else has a chance. Before anyone else has a chance, that's what I mean by typos. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. Just letting you guys know, her actions are straightforward and direct. Alright, let's play... I think this is probably easy, I have no idea. We're gonna do easy, because let me tell you, this game is not easy. <laughs> I know I'm being a, a pleb here, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna pick easy. My goodness, this game is... There's a lot of nuance to all the mechanics. It's pretty straightforward, but there's so many things to memorize and keep track of that basically either gives you an advantage or a disadvantage in every fight. And to remember all of these, it kind of gets a little overwhelming, but you know. It's, it's manageable. He's also a playwright, by the way, this guy. Real Shakespeare. ありがとうございます。これで父をも少しは私の芝居を認めてくれるといいのですが。あら、ご婦人たちに囲まれて、もう立派な劇作家先生みたいじゃない、王子。おいおいいいな。舞台衣装のまま楽屋から出てきち
ルーンの神の庇護のもとに会場はなかった、うん、しかも警備の者たちによれば怪しい者が近づいた気配はないとそんなだって王様はあんなにお元気だったじゃありませんかイエナグラドス将軍にご無礼だぞ口を慎みなさいいいのだシズラー殿このわしとてこのような不甲斐ない事態を招いた席を将軍ルビーの王子騎士は人を責める前にまず己を責めようそう私に教えてくれたのは将軍あなた恐れ入りますだが今は将軍はもとより警備の誰を責めても父王は生きては帰らぬシズラー殿が嗅ぎ取ったようにおそらくこの正義の国に何かしら邪悪な気配が近づいているのはまず間違いないのだ王子のおっしゃる通りじゃジオどうなさったの顔が真っ青ブリガンダインがオーチ我らの正義のブリガンダインが何やら正義を脅かす気配を感じ取ったようですじゃ何ですってルビーの王子グラドス将軍緊急事態であります我が国の東方の拠点ウォーレンがたった今グスタバ神聖帝国に占拠されましたな何だってファミがかねてから不穏な動きをしておったがよもや賛成を惜しむシズラー殿こうなったらグスタファの関与を疑わないわけにはいかんじゃろうなそれにこういった火種は他の国いやこのルーナジア全土に飛び火する王子たとえこの大陸が戦火にまみれたとしても我らのノーザリオその正義の火は決して消されることがあってはならんあ、そうチーズイエスオブタイスバラウェイイケンスケーパーオーディオ国とは因縁朝からのグスタファ神聖帝国その蛮族が何の前触れもなく我が領土の一部を占拠したこれはこのルーナジアの各地で起きている火種の一つに過ぎない今は我らの正義が危機に瀕している火の手が我らを覆う前に我らは一刻も早くこの大陸の全土に正義の鉄杭を打ち込まねばならない御意行くぞはい。Where you can invade other people's lands, try to take over, and there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on. You have a set amount of turns, by the way, to kind of complete the task of conquering the nation. So if you look here, 
this is my area and basically you want to fortify the areas where you can get attacked so Lorenz here and this base here Harmonia should have the most defenses doesn't really make sense to put people in here unless uh, you know you're being bum rushed and you, you're losing bases but since I picked easy what I can do is I can I can move all the guys into these bases here and then start pushing out and taking over. So let's take a look at the map here. We got Gustav up here. We got these people here. So what I want to do is I kind of want to take over a country where it's really easy to defend. So if I start taking over the red area, I would have to fortify at this space right here. Cornworn. Because uh, the green guys might move in. So if I hold this pace, this place, this base, I should be able to kind of protect my territory. And then I have to hold this space right here. Because I can get attacked by purple. And I have to hold this space right here. So when I push out, you know, there's going to be a lot of risk involved. So you got to think about that kind of stuff. Uh... You can also kind of decide where to push, like the pirate lady. Her territory is kind of weird, it's like this one snaking path. I got only really two places to defend here. One over there. I would say three. One over here. So basically, you can look at the combat points here. It's 4,000. I have 5,000. Now if I push out and take over, uh, I can get attacked uh, on four sides. See, that's zero, that's fine. That's 4,000 as well. That's a little bit low. Okay, that's zero as well. Okay, 13,000. So, start moving some people out. Here. So you can summon monsters into your crew. And then you can move them to a different area. Once you move them though, they can't attack in the attack phase. You have to wait one round. You can also assign them to go to quests to gain items. There's many things that can happen. Okay, so let's look at the troops here. So here's my main dude. The magic pool, if you look at the upper right hand corner. Uh, that's basically how much capacity I have and if you look at the troops I have the right here this is the frost dragon uh, he costs 100 so out of the 215 magic pool he's costing me 100 and this guy's costing me 55 so I can I can hire some more monsters if I want you can change equipment each person has equipment. He has a Brigadino Justice, which is a nice piece of equipment. You can also give monsters specific equipment. You have also items. When you're first starting, obviously you don't have anything. Uh, the class is basically the tier of monster, and as you level them up, you know they unlock more classes, and then you can upgrade them. Uh, basically you can change classes as well and the reason why you want to do that is some classes have moves that are transferable to other classes so you can like master a class get some moves and then start learning a new class so you have a bigger pool of moves available <laughs> names and release all right So we can move troops here, and you can only move troops to a base uh, in the attack phase, right? Only move troops where you want to defend an area, otherwise it's kind of useless. There's no limits, but you can only choose three troops per battle when you're fighting. So this, is, this turns into like the fire emblem phase, and here, like I mentioned before, when you move a person, they can't attack right away, but they can defend. Can move him. I can move him there. Uh, let me check this place. Oh, five thousand. Oh, it's a little 
It's a little heavy. Let's move this guy over here. A lot. Um, I want to put the attack heavy folks here. And let's see. I'm moving here. Uh, unless I get the quest real quick. So, you know, you got two types of quests, gain items, etc, acquire XP. Let's see. Send her to the quest. Don't think she's gonna do well, but who cares? <laughs> All right. All right. Let's summon some troops. And go here. So you got summon mana and upkeep mana. So every turn, the more bases you have, the more mana you get. And then every turn, you have to pay the upkeep mana for all the monsters that you have. Uh, so that's why you want to release monsters sometimes. And if you don't have enough upkeep mana, your MP and HP is going to be reduced by 30. So you want to avoid that at all costs. So let's see. Ooh. This guy looks like a beast. Let's look at his info. Power Fist. Also, no, another thing to keep in mind is that if you look at his stats, the preferred terrain is mountain. So if you don't put the monster on the preferred terrain, there's a basically a cost to your accuracy and you know evasion. So there's a lot of things to keep track of. Let's hire this guy. Yeah, guy. Definitely didn't skip arm day. Okay. Cost 50. Oh, this guy's magic pull is so big. What the heck? Okay, I'll put him in here, I guess. Alright, let's end the phase right now. Wait, can we attack? Let me see. 4,000. Yeah, let's... Let's end the phase and start the attack phase. So again, you can skip all the tutorials, all the cutscenes if you want. If it's not your cup of tea, you can turn off the music. Alright. You can only attack adjacent bases, etc. Again, it's a pretty... Uh, it's a pretty complicated game. It's a lot of nuances. I'm gonna go attack this. Now it turns into Fire Emblem. So here... You can see what happens. You know, if two bases try to invade each other, the one with the higher CP is gonna have the advantage. Oh, what happened? They moved some defenses there. Bamboozled! Alright, I'm probably gonna lose this, but it's okay.
Alright, if you win, you obviously occupy the base. Okay. This is gonna hurt. So if you kill the knight, which is the main character, and their HP is reduced to zero, all of the monsters will retreat as well. So it's kind of, you know, you can pick and choose to whittle away the monsters and then attack the knight, or you can go straight for the knight, and if you get them, their troop will basically retreat. And then your order of attack is on the right side. So here it is turn based. Hmm, I am not gonna do well here. So if you look, the hexagons are their movement range, the red ones are, you know, within enemy attacks. Can hold the cursor over, etc. The terrain types, man, there's so much. There's so much information here. Look, look at this grid. Uh, again, you can skip all of this if this is not your cup of tea. But basically, when they're in their castle, they get a huge buff. And if you're not on your preferred terrain, you're gonna get a debuff. So you gotta memorize all of that. Alright. You also have magic available. Uh, you can't really use it after you move, so just keep that in mind. I can heal. Alright. Let's move him. I'm gonna try to draw them out if I can. Try to keep them together. Those food will stay moved. Hopefully, they just move one at a time. Oh, they separated. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's see. We can kind of. Can try to meet them in the forest. Do I have the plain, plain, water, mountain, water, water, plain, plain? All right, meadow, river. There's no mountains really, but all right, I'll try my best. That's like my, uh, was it? My turn? So something like that, right? I watched a lot of anime. I took four years of Japanese in college, I think. I didn't, I don't remember anything. Trying to bait them out because I selected easy, so I want to know if they just like split, you know? 
Okay, Zelda control, basically you can't move through when they're together like that. Uh, also, you can pincer them. And then, you know, there's a debuff. So like, yeah, there's a lot of things and this game is hard. So you want all of the advantages that you can, you can get in the game. Oh, they're actually crossing over. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna meet them here because the water seems to be like not good. Oh no no no! <laughs> don't, don't end that. All right. Let's start moving over this way, I guess. Let's go, big muscle person, lizard man. Oh shoot. Hmm. This guy can move quite a bit. Um I'm not good at this game by the way. I didn't get to play a lot. So I don't have all of the I don't have a good feel for the game, like what's the best practices, all of that. I'm learning just like you guys. I'm trying to give you guys a look at the beginning of the game from a beginner's perspective. Obviously once I get a better handle, I'll release a different video. Mostly guide videos, but... This guy should be in the water, I think. Hi. Hey! Oh, how dare you! Oh, I miss. Come on. Okay. That fool, he moved. Let's see if I have any magic. Okay. Team A's turn. The A team. That's what I am. Put him here. Power fist. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that kind of hurt too. Let's see, a Mupio. Hmm. Let's heal him. Do I have enough mana? Uh, it's sort of. Like this is like overkill, right? Nah. Those to stay there, Klaus, don't move in. I swear. I swear, you wanna protect your village? My goal is to get rid of this lady here, so her unit retreats. Again, there's a lot of status effects as well. Uh, there's so many things. Basically, what it boils down to is, you know, you don't have to memorize each little thing, but basically just keep in mind all of these just general ideas and if you can take advantage of it, it means that you're gonna win a fight. That's all it means, like you can get every advantage that you can get out of a fight. So now a level 2, look at him, he's so proud of himself. Ok, 
Okay, uh, that's the B team. Let's see if I can. Resist. Above this guy. Uh, here, I will buff. That dude, then. This guy. Okay. Beast B team roll up. Try not to- I should've just ignored him. Oh, he got cured by the stupid unicorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it took so long crossing the river. Truly, easy mode is easy. Use Kante. Alright. Need to get her dad fast as possible. Yes, it was very presumptu presumptuous. <laughs> Alright, goodbye! Alright, now it's... Kinda even. Good job, Lamia. Wow. Okay, okay. Now, I can heal... This guy. Maybe... Dori. I don't know what he said, I'm just trying to mimic. I like how he gets hit and he levels up. Hora, 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 hora. Muda, muda, muda. Okay. Jake, it is your turn to shine now. Now we're gonna go. I think these guys are okay here. I'm gonna go attack this dude. Great, you missed. Oh, oh, go golly. All right, well.
looking good so far, guys. Not looking good. Spell break this guy. Basically, if you change your terrain to sky, you can move anywhere. So that's why you want to do it. Just try to give him the highest chance to evade attacks if possible. All right, this guy. I want to get rid of this guy. Can I kill him? Not work. Wow. Oh, that hurts when they miss. Like, ah, oh, it makes me so angry. You know. <laughs> Also, each battle has a 12 turn limit. I kind of forgot that. Wow. I'm bullying now. Okay. Jeez. Oh, the A team is. I think I lost this. Where do I heal? I feel like he's a... Oh, Alright, whatever. Lizard man! Lizard man! Barely knew you! Rest in pepperonis. Okay. Let's not, let's not do that. Let's not get her killed. <laughs> All right. I'm so close to getting rid of this guy. Well, lizard man number two. Okay. Wait. Um. Uh, hmm. Ew. Who 
who's attacking next? Oh, this this guy. Shoot. So I can kill him. This might be a little risky, but what happens if I do this? Well, not snake bite. Darn, I can't aim there. Unfortunate. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on. Wait, can I heal after I move? It's so annoying. Um Now a mermaid lady. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice lizard man. You attack first. Wait, can I? Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Goodbye, lizard man. Oh, he did well. He did well. <laughs> All right, let's. What the higher accuracy? Yeah, we did it, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Good for me. God, that hurt. Shoot. It's a go away. <laughs> oh shoot, she's being blocked. Shoot. Jeez, okay. Very least. Wait. Oh, that's so annoying how it... Okay. Mm -hmm. He's out of MP! Oh, jeez. I don't know if I can make it now, like... That hurts. Oh, please stop missing. Please. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all right. Oh, this is annoying as heck. My 
ります。Why are they missing? Down to the wire, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Mina, what does need to take it? Yeah, best be sorry. We lost. Ah, hubris. Ah, I, I thought I could get her, but no, no. I should not have attacked. I should have waited the next turn and attacked with three troops. And that would have been an easy win. Because I almost beat that. Boo. Boo. <laughs> yeah, I almost defeated them with, uh, them when they had 2,000 more combat power. これまでおよび今後の各国の情報をまとめさせましたのでご報告申し上げますありがとうグラド首相軍誇りのブリガンダインを有するガイムール共和国ではアーデン大統領がなぜかこのところ表舞台に姿を見せていないとか不可解なのはそれでいて首都ガガにありますモハナハルーン神教の巣モハナキャラダイン像には連日各地からルーンの騎士たちが集結しているとのことでございます我がルビーの賛成王の死を嗅ぎつけ連中がどう動き出そうとしているのか予想もつきませんさらにアーデンの後継と目される娘エルザは伝説のムールエンジェ三姉妹の再来とも我ら正義のブリガンダインの名にかけてここは一歩も引けませんぞキュハザム国かつては我が国にも傭兵として仕えた者どもも今ではちりぢりになっているとかしかしもともとかの国は忍び魔術の達人ぞ特に女の忍びたちは新たに森の奥深くに広大な城を作ったと聞いております女たちを先導しているのはデラと申す者そして娘のタリアには特に注意が必要かと何しろ傭兵としてかなり過酷な任務を強要されてきた一族ゆえ女の忍びたちは自由のブリガンダインを掲げ我ら規制の国家をことごとく転覆させようと企てているようでございます。グスタファ神聖帝国。申し上げるまでもなく、我が国はもちろん、他国への侵略もかなり強引に推し進めております。ご存知のように、かの帝国には、我が国をはじめとする国々と違って、
ブリガンダインが一度としてもたらされたことがありませんグスタフ一族というかつて我が国を追われた騎士の末裔どもが君臨する先制国家ですが現在皇帝の位置にあるのがティム・グスタフという一族の中でも年少の者癖の多い一族の連中を束ねるためにも何が何でもブリガンダインを手に入れそのご意向にすがりたいというのが本音でありましょう王子あのような国にブリガンダインが渡ったら我らの正義は地に落ちましょうぞ<音声>マナサリージア法王国あのロマヌフ法王が何かの悪霊に取りつかれたとしか言いようがありませんご存知のように法王はルーン信仰において財派の擁護者我が国はモハナ派の流れを組んでおりますがこれまで異なった流派が衝突するまでに至らなかったのはひとえに法王の懐の深さゆえところがここに来て法王の息子で警察師団長のルドが突然放棄したと高潔のブリガンダインを掲げ全世界を己の財派で統一しようと目論んでおるようです王子我らの正義をもって何としても愚かな野心を叩き伏せねばなりませんわがノーザリオからはるか離れた国とて油断はなりません見れるば諸島連邦所詮海賊どもが集まって出来上がった国我が国のように開国の祖アデッサ様のような強力な指導者のもとに生まれた国ではありません今ではステラとかいう海賊の末裔がいいように島々を動かしているとかまさに身勝手な自我のブリガンダインを地で行くようなものでございます王子格の違いを見せつけてやらねばなりますまい分かったご苦労様でしたグラドス将軍<笑> I got a green noble hat okay a anti magic hat band fair enough that is a monster item by the way because that's letter M on it and here it is we got our mana income From our bases, we got our upkeep mana from all the monsters, and then we have our total mana. And here we are, here we are into season two. So I'm gonna call it quits here because I think you guys get an idea. Uh, by the way, if you play it as each kingdom, the stories are completely different. So I picked Gustav because, you know, I was like, oh, I don't want to rely on a brigadine that kind of. Lines with my way of thinking, and this guy here, Tim Gustav, has no interest in a brigandine. In fact, it's insulting to him to even rely on one, and instead, he relies on the blood of family. So, <laughs> you know, me and my buddies make the joke about the Fast and Furious movies, it's about family, but yeah. It's about family, so you know it's kind of interesting to see you know this kingdom's perspective on the Gustav Empire, where they think that you know this guy wants a brigadine to rein in、uh, his troops, which he doesn't do if you play through the Gustav、uh, campaign. Well, I don't know because I haven't played through to the end, but in the beginning. So, again, I think there's a lot of content here,、uh, it's kind of interesting to see. The perspectives from each empire, each kingdom, each character, they're completely different.、Uh, overall, though, I would say it's kind of like, again, Fire Emblem for the fighting part. It's very difficult. You saw me lose. I mean, I was, you know, I had a disadvantage, and I'm playing on easy, but I still lost. So, this game is not easy at all. And. And then the organization phase here is kind of like Risk. You're trying to take over an entire board, and you have to invade and defend, etc. And on top of that, there's a very. I think it's a very interesting storyline here with engaging characters. 
very anime-like that may be a pro or a con for you depending on what kind of person you are. But once again, you can skip through all the cutscenes, the tutorials, all of that if it doesn't suit you. Alright, well I'm going to call it an end here. Uh, yeah, the game is pretty difficult on the surface level, but once you get used to it, you're going to be grinding through these battles like it's nothing. Uh, if you have difficulty, I highly recommend playing on easy first. Anyways, this was Brigadine, The Legend of Nursia, developed by Matrix Software and published by HappyNet. Out now on a Nintendo Switch. Anyways, thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to the kind PR folk who approved my request. Uh, I'm really happy because, again, you know, I was lucky enough to get a Switch and now I'm covering Switch games as well. So thank you so much. I'm, you know, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, I, it's got me hyped. But yeah, thank you so much uh, for watching. Thank you so much to the PR folk who approved my request. Anyways, if you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And catch you guys next time.